So how can you remove hidden app permissions on your Android? Let's get started. So I completely understand where you're coming from because we download a lot of different apps to our devices and then we grant them permission to access some different things, right? And in order to retract that permission or to manage the apps individually, well, this is what you need to do. Essentially, you need to open up these settings and then find the apps section specifically. In the app menu, you'll be able to find all of your installed apps on your phone sorted alphabetically. And the feature which I really like to use is called remove permissions if app is not used. So I'll just go through the apps one by one and there is the thing, a little toggle there which I mentioned again is remove permission if app is unused. So using this, you make sure that the app doesn't have the permission to access your location, microphone, or whatever else it might be after a period of inactivity. So if I don't use the app for like a month or a longer period of time, it just stops giving the app access to my data. So that is very useful. But you can also manage the apps individually, right? So you go to the app permissions and see what's really going on, right? So you can see all of the different apps and see what kind of permissions they have. So usually you will have to go through app by app, but there isn't really nothing hidden if you are diligent and go through individual application and see exactly which permission the app has. So like in a Gmail app, for example, might have access to calendar, contacts, and notifications, but you might want to stop it. So you just disable that, right? So you have to go through that app by app and just set it up the way that you are going to be happy about it. Now, that's how you can remove app permissions on your Android. Subscribe for more tutorials and privacy guides like this one because it's really important to stay, you know, within your privacy. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you later in the next tutorial.